What's up people? Let's create a werewolf today. Here I am in After Effects with my footage and a composition. You don't need so many black dots on the face. I did that for another test, so don't mind. What we will do first is to set up all of our tracking data for the fangs. For both ears, for both eyes and the forehead. So start by creating some null objects. One for the top fangs, the bottom fangs, the right ear, left ear, right eye, left eye and a last one for the forehead. Let's go ahead and rename all the null objects. Go back on the original clip and in the tracker panel on the right, click on track motion. Set it on the pupil and hit play to start the tracking process. When it's finished, click on edit target and select the corresponding null object and apply it. Do the same for the other pupil. Then for the top teeth, but this time check rotation and choose two tracking points. Same for the bottom teeth, left ear and right ear. For the forehead, I will use the built-in mocha. Open its settings, start creating points using the black dots, check perspective, and start the tracking. As we are in mocha, let's proceed to create other tracking data for the eyes and lip, which we will use to create mask. So rename your layer and uncheck everything for now. Use the Bezier tool and start drop points on one of the eye and track. Adjust if needed. Do the same for the other eye. Then same thing also for the lip. Enable the visibility of all the layers, save the tracking data and close this window. Under the tracking data, click on create track data. Make sure to select the forehead data and click OK. Then change the export option to transform and layer export to the mocha forehead null object. We have all of our tracking layer set. You can select all and drag them below. Next step is to remove the black dots on the face. So duplicate the original clip. You can remove the mocha tool and the motion trackers. Of course, rename this file. Use the mask tool and draw a mask around the black dot. Then set the mask type to subtract and hide the original clip. Make sure you select the mask and in the tracker panel, click on the play button to track this mask. Now in the content aware fill panel, set the fill method to object, enable the lighting correction, Leave it on strong and then click on generate fill. The software will start by analyzing the scene and then render out the fill layer. So this is our first fill layer right here and you can see the good job it has done. Repeat the same step if you have other black dots. So here I have prepared all of my fill layers. There you can see the difference. Now let's create our red eyes. Duplicate the original clip and remove the mocha settings. Freeze this layer at the first frame then add a hue and saturation, play around the values a little bit. After add a tint and map black to some brown color, add curves and change it to give a red tone. Finally, add an exposure and bring up the exposure amount. Now we can start draw a force mask around the eye. Set the position correctly, increase the feather of the mask, then duplicate this mask and make it smaller and set it to intersect. Again, duplicate the mask again, make it smaller, but this time set it to subtract. Adjust the size till you are satisfied. Duplicate the last mask, change the position to where you spot some white fur and make it smaller. You can also change the mask feather of this last mask. Duplicate this layer and select all the mask and change the position to the other eye. To give more details to the eyes, create a black solid layer and add a fractal noise. Change the type to smurry, enable invert, change the contrast and brightness and then bring down the scale. Set the blending mode to color dodge Copy all the mask from the left red eye layer and paste it to the fractal noise layer. Duplicate this layer and set it above the right red eye layer. Remove all the mask. Go copy all the mask from the right red eye layer and paste it over here. Select the left red eye and fractal layer and pre-compose them. So this is our left eye. Select the other two layers and pre-compose them. That will be our right eye. Parent the left red eye layer to the left eye tracker and same thing for the right red eye layer. By the way, I have a small issue in one of my tracking data which can be fixed, but for the sake of this tutorial, I will leave it like that. At the beginning, we created some tracking data for the eye. So duplicate the original clip, set it above the red eye layers. In the mocha settings, under matte, click on visible layers and disable all the layers except the right and left eye. Click on OK, then click on Create After Effect Mask. Add a tint and change your white to black. 
select both left and right red eye layers and set the track mat to the eye mask mat layer. As the mask is too sharp, you can change the feather. It's time to set up our ears. Again, duplicate the original clip and drag it above the other layers. Remove the mocha and add the liquify tool. You can then start to distort the ear, maintain command or control and slide your mouse to the left or right to change the size of the brush. And start grow your werewolf ear. Do the same for the other ear. When it's okay for you, go ahead and freeze this layer at the first frame. If you want, you can animate the ears with the distortion percentage, create a keyframe somewhere in the timeline and then set the percentage to zero at the first frame. But for this tutorial, I will leave it like that without animation. You can now recompose this layer and add a noise effect on it. Change the value to something like 2.5%. I don't know if you can see any difference on your screen. Anyway, let's continue. Rename this composition layer. It will be our left ear. Duplicate it and rename it. It will be our right ear. For each ear, go on and draw a mask. Set feather to something like two pixels. For the left ear, link it to the left ear tracker. I will just disable the right ear layer to see what we have here. That's pretty good. You can go ahead and do the same for the other ear. Mask, feather, parent it to its own tracker. That's perfect guys. By the way, if ever you're recreating this, I would be glad to see the result. So you can send it to me directly or tag me on social media at WLCreation with a key. Let's go and create our fangs. Duplicate the original clip, set it above the rest and add the liquify tool. By the way, under the warp tool option, you can change the brush size here. Repeat the same steps we did for the ears. Also, don't forget to freeze the first frame. Additionally, we will use the paint tool to give more depth to our fangs. Change the color and the flow to make sure our fangs have the same tint like the teeth. Then use a brighter color to create some light reflection. For the sake of this tutorial, I will go real quick, but you can make sure to be precise. When everything is done, pre-compose this layer, copy the noisy effect from the ear layer and paste it here. Then rename the layer for the top fangs and duplicate it from the bottom fangs. Start draw a mask for each fangs and parent them to their own tracker. Change the feather of both masks to two pixels. Indeed, to make sure the fangs are inside the mouth, duplicate the original clip, drag it above the fangs layer under matte in mocha settings, click on visible layers and leave only the lip enabled. Then create after effects mask and change the mask feather. The next two steps are optional. So if you want, you can stop right here, but these steps will make a difference, a huge difference in your video. So I advise you to go till at the end of this video. We will first deform the forehead skin to add some extra details. So duplicate the original clip, drag it above the rest, freeze frame, then use the liquify tool to distort the skin. When finished, pre-compose this layer, draw a mask around the deformed skin and parent it to the forehead mocha tracker. Secondly, we will add some veins. Create a black solid layer and add advanced lightning. You can use my settings or trick around to see what's best for you. Then duplicate this layer and change the origin or direction to change the view. Again, duplicate the layer and tweak around the settings, make it smaller, add a fast box blur and change the radius. Duplicate this layer and change the position and settings. After pre-compose these four vein layers, parent it to the mocha for a tracker and mask out this zone we don't need. Add an emboss and change the direction and relief. Add a tint, map black to a dark tint on the face and map white to a bright tint on the face. Use the liquify tool to deform the vein to make it more organic and follow the forehead shape. Then add some noise to this layer. And then add a camera lens blur. You can play around the radius to suit your scene. When everything is done, you can enable the motion blur on your layers. Finally, let's do some basic color grading. Create an adjustment layer, add Lumetri color, and tweak around some basic settings to make your scene epic. And we have reached at the end of today's tutorial. Thanks for watching, hope you liked it. Do subscribe to the channel, like and share with others, and leave a comment to tell me what you think about this tutorial. See you next time.